Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting up two diamond paintings. Um, the first one or one of them is going to be this diamond painting from Star Wars. Here is the original image of these cats and pumpkins and dogs. And um, Star Wars called it Halloween Party. It's from Star Wars on Amazon. I got it for $10.99. It is a, about a 35 by 46.5 on poured glue with round drills that do have DMCs and there are 25 colors in all. And the other one I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm kind of like kidding up a lot of my fall themed diamond paintings because they're some of my favorite ones. So yeah, here's the original image or wait, what's the orientation? It should be this way. Um, it's of these leaves. And so um, this is from DIY Choose. I did get this as a product review and it was $10.99 on their site at the time of me getting it. This is about a 40 by 40 with poured glue square drills and they have DMCs and there are 26 colors in all. So I'm gonna move you down for the kitting up and I'm gonna move these off to the side. So, Okay, move you down. Oh, my camera is not straight because I, I think I need to get a different background that doesn't have these straight lines because it's so obvious when the camera isn't straight. So I'm gonna be using, um, so this is a 60 bottle container that I got from AliExpress. It is, it, it did get to me broken, but I just put some tape like this, the lid broke off. But I did get, I did get a, partial refund because of the brokenness so um and I just have this piece of mail that I just put in the center here so that I could cover up the diamond the the drills of the ones I'm not using so since this is a 60 bottle case and I'm just gonna use like half for both of them um this is pretty much what I've been doing someone suggested that to put a piece of paper over the stuff you're not using so that you don't get them mixed up. But I also am also kidding up a square and a round so I don't accidentally mix anything up either. So yeah, um, let's see. Let's do whatever, let's do this one first. This is a, these, this one should be the leaves one because they're square. So, so yeah, I'm just going to <laughs> like cover up the other side so that I don't, mistaken which one I'm using and nope I did not cut the labels sometimes when I make the labels I'm like ambitious and I end up like cutting them but nope I was not ambitious this time so um I just scanned the labels and put them onto some label paper um I did make a video about how I did this at some point so if you haven't seen it and you want to know how I make the labels, there is a video about it. So I'm just scoring it a little bit so that I can, you know, just so that the label is cut off from there. And then now I'm just going to cut it with the scissors for the rest of it. So I, so it's usually important to keep like a little bit on the side here so that, you know, the labels don't come apart and you could use them. Like, you know, you don't have to like, they're not into 50 million pieces. So yeah. And yeah, eh, you, if you want to know how I make the labels, you could go watch my video on how I make the labels. So yeah, I don't know. What, what was I going to talk about today? I didn't really come prepared. I was just going to so I'm, I'm like in the process of pretty much kitting up every single one or not every, well, as many of my fall diamond paintings that I think I could finish because I really do like the, I think I'm going to start down here. I do like the fall diamond paintings. So so yeah, I'm just putting the labels on for whatever reason when I use these bottles I like to start in the front and then go back I will put these in alphabetical order probably depending on how yeah there's a lot of letters on this so I'll probably put this in alphabetical order um, 
for easier diving painting. I find it's easier for me to dive and paint when the drills are in alphabetical order and that's the whole point of using these containers that can be moved is you can put them in alphabetical order afterwards. Um, oh, oh, two of them at once there. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I like to label them all at once because I find that's faster And then I should have five extra, so hopefully anything with too much will be able to fit with just the five extra. Or no, wait, this one has 26 colors. So I'll have only four extra, so hopefully it'll still fit. It's a 40 by 40, I'm hoping it'll fit. Um. <laughs> okay, so I have my tray here. Um, and in my garbage bag here, let's see, where is number one, that's 20, luckily these, these do have the DMCs on there, so, um, I don't have to, like, start counting and make sure I'm on the right number. <laughs> So I am recording this, when am I recording this? It's the Sunday before it's getting posted. So it'll be a couple days in advance. Um, I do tend to record all my videos kind of in advance. So anything I talk about might be a little outdated maybe, um, but only by like a couple weeks. Um, I used to like in, I used to be like so paranoid that I wouldn't be able to record that I would record like a whole bunch of videos weeks in advance. Um, and yeah, just so I would have content. Now I'm on the, if I don't end up posting a video, I guess I'll just write a message on the community post that I was not able to record a video. Um, Cause you know, it happens. It's Things happen and you just are not able to record for whatever reason. This is one of those bottles that don't close well. Um, I've had that happen a couple times and then I've, I think I've been successful if I just switch the caps and then it's fine on a different cap. Okay, so since this is fine with this bottle, I'm just gonna move it because I'd rather do that than transfer the label. Um, but yeah, I found that some bottles just work better with certain caps. Okay, so 597, I do not think it's going to fit completely in one container. So I'm hoping that I'll only need four extras. I don't know. Maybe I should skip it and then skip all the ones that seem like they might be too much and then do those at the end just so that I could see how many bottles I have left. Um, that's the one problem with these bottle systems is they don't hold that much. So sometimes you're in the end, you're, you just have like tons of bags left over. And I guess I could have used a bigger, well, you know, I mean, I'm already, I have 30 bottles. It should be fine for 25 colors. Um, but yeah, that, that's the problem sometimes with these bottles is they don't hold that much. So you do find the case where even though you had four extra, you'll have way more than four that needed more than one container. So, okay. It is still kind of warm. So I have the fan on behind me. Um, I do, I did buy a air conditioning unit. Um, but it's only good for one room and I don't really want to move it around all that much, even though it is on wheels. So, but it's in, it's in a different room than where I record. So, so sometimes I'm just like, eh, I'll just, I'll re just record earlier in the morning so it's not so hot. But it's not that warm today, but yeah. Okay, nine, three, nine. 
So, have you guys been watching the Olympics? By the time this gets posted, the Olympics will almost be over. Um, and there'll be like a whole week of events happening um, that have happened. Um, but yeah, I've been watch. I've been watching it, and I've been watching it while diamond painting, kind of. Um, but I only really watch what's on during the prime time showing on NBC. So, and I don't have cable, so I can't watch all the things that they have on cable. And I know they're showing some. They they have some events that you could watch online, but eh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know if I'm that interested in the events that I'll have to, like, look it up online. So, and that's also the problem with, you know, the Olympics being in another country that is, like, in a totally different time zone is <laughs> events are finished by the time you actually get to watch it. So you already know the results. And the problem with the internet now is, you know, results are posted right away. <laughs> so... I mean, it's still entertaining to watch it, even though you know who's going to win or who's going to lose. But but there was nothing... There was I, I normally, when I watch the Olympics, and I just kind of really watch... I just kind of watch at in the background. Oh man, this one doesn't have enough. And since I opened it already, I'm going to put it into another container just because it's open already. This is why I, I should have put this aside. So let's just hope that there'll be enough. So I'm going to get a label here, my pen. So this is a 958. OK, this is a little full. So I do like to use up the less full one first and then use the full one just that way I don't freak out in the end that I think I'm running out. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Oh, oh, I was... I've been watching the Olympics, but I'm, I've just been kind of... I'm a casual viewer of it. I mean, I watch what they show on NBC and some of the times it's interesting, sometimes I'm like, eh. Um, <laughs> Like I think, so I was, so they were saying that on, on, that they were, they added all these events to hope to like entice younger viewers into watching the Olympics. So they, um, so they put in, um, skateboarding and so far, I don't know if the other version of skateboarding has shown yet. Um, but they showed, they think they called it street skateboarding. So it's like skateboarding when they made an artificial, like, um, artificial, I don't know, what they call it, field, I don't know, of, of a fake, um, I guess not, it's not necessarily a street, but you know, there's, there was like stairs and railings and things like that. So they were supposed to do tricks on, on these, but I don't know if it's just me or I'm just used to seeing like crazy crazy like high flying tricks like with snowboarding but with the skateboarding you just they just weren't able to do the crazy high flying tricks like you would on on like snowboarding i guess because snowboarding you're on snow i'm gonna do this one later since it's very full you're on snow and you're able to i don't know do, perform a bigger trick but yeah, and all I know is they weren't able to perform like the crazy high jinx hit tricks that you would see like in snowboarding. And for whatever reason, I was expecting that. But but when they were explaining that you can't have like crazy tricks really because the skateboard is one a not connected to not connected to you, but I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. You can't, like, you can't go do some crazy flying thing because the skateboard is not connected to their feet. Um, so then they would do some trick, and I was like, I guess that's hard, but I don't know enough about it. And it happened so quickly that I couldn't even tell one trick um, from another trick. So to me, it was kind of boring because I didn't know what was happening. Um, 
And and what's crazy is like in the female one, the people who won were like 13 years old. And I'm thinking, is it because by the time you get older, you're, you're just like, eh, this is a kid sport or or because, yeah, maybe there's no money in skateboarding. Like the adults are like, OK, I guess I'm too old to continue doing these tricks. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it just was not that for someone like me who knows nothing about skateboarding and knows nothing um, about how hard these skills are and the fact that the skills all looked the same when they were not played in slow motion, it it was like one of those, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Okay, so all of these have a lot. Okay, so... Okay, what I think I'm going to do, all of these have a lot. I think I'm going to just fill up the ones that are the least full. And then the other ones that are a lot, I'll just put them in bags. Okay, this one looks like it was going to fit, so that's fine. Um, But yeah, no, I think I was just, I just didn't know what to expect from skateboarding that it just didn't, I don't know. It didn't seem that entertaining, mainly because I don't know anything about it and everything happened so fast, so it was hard to tell what they were doing until they did a slow motion. I was like, oh, okay, that's why it was hard because their skateboard was on the railing. Um, <laughs> Oh, 20, 3, 8, 1, 2. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything in with just the last three bottles. Maybe my other one won't be, won't need this many drills. I mean, it's, it's a 40, 30, 40 by 40. The other one is a, what was it? A 35 by 46. Yeah, no, that's still... So I think I am going to have to put some of these in baggies. Three, eight, one, two. I'm gonna switch these. Okay, and then everything else has like the two bags, so those could just be. I'm gonna have to. Five, nine, seven, where's my. So then, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, skateboarding and how I, I didn't. I wasn't sure about it. And I'm still not sure about it because I. Like I said, I wasn't sure what was happening. And. And it just, to a person that knows nothing about it, for whatever reason, we want the crazy hijinks of like, and for us to be entertained, which is really sad is because we're like, these people are doing crazy, like probably very dangerous stunts and we're just looking at it as entertainment. So, but I guess that's just how, Okay, so uh, I don't. I think this blue one might be able to fit in just two, maybe. We'll see. So if it does, then this will be what three, eight, four, four. But yeah, no, I, I'm sad that like I'm seeing all of this stuff on the Olympics as entertainment for my own self. And I do know that some of these things are dangerous and I shouldn't see it that way. But but, you know, the way they put make the coverage is they make they make all of these like really difficult things look really 
easy. So I, I could see why <laughs> some people are watching and you're like, how come you didn't win? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I know it's hard. <laughs> so I give kudos to the, um, the athletes and all their training and all that. And I'm sorry that you're being used for entertainment purposes, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna get some baggies. Okay. Maybe these will be... These are just some random baggies, you know. You, you do gain a lot of baggies when you're diamond painting a lot. So, what was I on? 3842. But yeah, no, I, I do know these athletes probably train super, super hard to gain their achievements. So I'm not trying to lessen any of their achievements. I'm just gonna put it over the other sticker. <laughs> Or maybe I'll just keep it, maybe, maybe I'll just keep these in the bag and, and, and then just fill up the bottle when, when I can. Because it seemed like that one bag filled it up, so yeah, maybe I won't use the baggie. Um, 3865. Only if the one container doesn't fit. No. Yeah, I think it'll fit. Okay. Three, eight, six, fives. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep these in their own like bag there and then I'll just keep it on the top or something. Okay, so let's do the other one. So I'm just going to move this yay so. Um, and if you can tell, I like to like recycle things, so I mean, this is some junk mail. This is some postcard, I think for, I don't know, a bank or something. And they like to use like a happy looking family. Oh, here's a happy looking family. Um, boating somewhere. <laughs> okay, so Star Wars did come with an inventory sheet. So I'm going to use, I'm going to remove this plastic here because my garbage can, aka my, I don't know if you've seen my garbage can, it's this ice cream container. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if my, my garbage can can take another diamond paintings worth of bags. So yeah, Star does have this inventory sheet and I'm gonna use my sticker maker to make labels from it because why not wait should this whole thing fit no so so yeah i'm just cutting it out it is on a thicker paper so I wonder if I could do two, because I am just that kind of cheap. Okay, so 25, so half of 25 would be like in the 12, so it's at Y. Because, you know, I use my my sticker maker so often. Actually, I don't. Um. <laughs> okay. Because I've noticed a lot of diamond painting companies do not give inventory sheets, so you don't end up using this that often. Um, or at least I don't. Okay. So. So that should put some sticky on to one side there. And then now I'm just going to lightly snip it and hopefully not go all the way so that I'll still have 
it won't fall off. Okay, so these are going to be really tiny labels because it was printed really small. Um, I guess I got so used to me scanning the legend myself and then blowing it up much bigger so that like now I'm looking at this and I'm like, it's tiny. How can anyone read this? Even though the drills on a canvas are like the, I mean, the print on the canvas is probably way smaller than this. So, and the, the star or inventory sheet is on like a thick paper. So. It's, it's not that flexible. Okay. I'm like, wait, wait, am I still on camera? <laughs> Until I look at the screen that shows what's on screen, I'm like, I ponder if I still am on camera. So yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, the Olympics being <laughs> entertainment. It's, it's sad, but yeah, no, I think that's what makes them the big bucks is people are watching this for entertainment and I'm, I'm pretty much most sports are like that people are watching it for entertainment people like to watch um, they like to root for someone so I was I was thinking like so since I don't know how like other countries showed the Olympics but um, for the past like maybe two Olympics the big big name was um, Michael Phelps and then since he's not in this these Olympics there was no one they didn't really have a big name anymore. So I think that's why they tried to make um, Simone Biles the big name because she was in the last Olympics and they were expecting her to um, to win like, I don't know, seven golds or something. Or like, wait, there's four apparatuses and then there's the all around in a team, so six golds. And yeah, and I think yeah, I don't think she had that much pressure on her last Olympics, so she was able to handle it in this time. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but she wasn't able to take the extra pressure. So, so then, so then now I'm thinking, okay, I, I get it. Like, when you have all this extra pressure on you, I could see where it could make you have a hard time taking it and we forget that these especially like the gymnasts are probably very very young um, because female gymnasts you you pretty much are over the hill once you pass I don't know 25 or something or probably you're over the hill once you pass the teenage years so so yeah and when you're when you're young you're still thinking and you don't probably just don't have as much pressure on you and then when everyone is like saying that oh you're like the greatest of all time and i don't know who came up with that but if it's if it's the broadcast people you you might have caused this nervous breakdown i don't know if it's a nervous breakdown but she she had some sort of um she she had she had some sort of problem that might have been caused by all the pressure the media was putting on her um, so and you hear all the controversies with um, with gymnastics and how like badly some of these girls were treated so yeah I'm not surprised but yeah, no, I think like all the crazy like expectations got too much and I'm hoping she's getting the help she needs. But yeah, I, I'm also wondering if it was partially created by how the media portrays the Olympians because it, it was one of those things that kind of bothered me watching the Olympic coverage is they kept calling the Olympians heroes and I don't get it. Like I, I like they do this for sport, right? Other sports too, where they call the sports, like the athletes, heroes. And I don't get the word hero. I get that they are. They can be. You could call them role models. Um, I don't know, role models. Um, 
I'm trying to think of other words other than hero, like role models, inspiration, something to aspire towards. But I don't know if heroes are the right word. And um, because then, because it's like they're playing a sport. They're not like saving someone's life. So, so yeah. I, I just, yeah. It was just one of those things that when they were tall, talk, like talking about them like any of the athletes being heroes and I'm like I don't know about that but I will I will go for like I said inspiration something um a role model but yeah hero eh. <laughs> it I feel like it detracts from people who really do heroic things because I think any sport is a little bit selfish there's no no matter what you're saying you're 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 representing your country there is still a little bit of self selfish kind of like you are doing this for yourself also um so yeah but when you start putting I mean, sure, they're doing... Maybe they're called heroes because they're doing super human things. Like, I mean, for them to be in the Olympics, they're probably the best of the best. And they're doing things that no ordinary people who haven't trained like crazy and don't have just the talent to do the things. They're, they're doing things that are superhuman so maybe that's where you get it like superhero they're doing something superhuman i don't know but i mean i give kudos to the athletes because they they worked very hard for they would not be in the position they are without working hard for it sure some of it is just like you were born with the talent because there are people who can work as hard as crazy hard at something but will still never be achieved the the level that the Olympians are getting but they're they're not just they can't get to that level either without training so some of it is inborn talent but no some of it is just plain hard work and maybe sacrifice but you know they're sacrificing for a sport they love like if they didn't love it then I would assume they would not keep going. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm talking about... It's probably because I was watching it. I've been watching it for the past week. It's kind of crazy, though, that... Um, I actually thought that this the Olympics wouldn't happen because of COVID. And then you hear, like, um, stories about, oh, this person wasn't able to compete. Like, I think I... I heard yesterday that there was someone in track that wasn't able to complete um, compete and he was like the US champion or something because he had tested positive for COVID and then you hear also those um, that like you heard that the people who were just like in contact with people who ha who tested positive with COVID were also quarantined and you and I heard like like the quarantine the way they the quarters for these people who were quarantined were not like the best um were not the best like i don't know living situations either i'm actually surprised that there are even people who are beating world records and things like with with the pandemic i would have thought that people would have had a hard time training but maybe not the case <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm wondering how much, like, money, like, Japan lost from, like, having, they probably had everything prepared last year, or uh, mostly prepared last year, and then they canceled it, and then, you know, they had to have everything prepared, like, a whole year later, um, and then now there's no spectators, so, I mean, I think a lot of people host the Olympics because, you know, they're expect, they're hoping for a, um, what do you call that, a, boost in tourism and well you know there was no one in the stands i wonder how would that also affects the oh wait there's two eight nine eights so um 
I guess I'll keep this for later and see if I still have five more back there. Um, but yeah, I wonder, I wonder if Japan lost money from having to host this Olympics with no with no spectators, you know, when they were probably... Okay. I need another. With When they didn't have... The one they had to postpone it, and... I mean, sure, right now there's more people there, but they were probably expecting m way more people. Okay, so I'm going to use my round labels because these are round drills and I figure in case I, I don't put this on, I'll be able to differentiate them. I mean, I'll be able to differentiate them just because the labels are different. Um, the labels look different, but this will be another differentiation. Oh, it was right here. I went out. Nine, two, one. But yeah, now I do wonder if Japan did lose out on some money because they weren't able to. Oh, this one has a lot too. They weren't able to have the extra tourism boost. And plus, you know, it was a whole year later. So I, I mean, I heard that. So like the Olympic village that they were building or something was supposed to be condos or something or I don't know like they had a second purpose for the buildings so um, people who had possibly bought the housing weren't able to get it I don't know And then what's kind of crazy is the next, the Winter Olympics, which is 2022, is actually like in less than a year. Um, so I think they, I think it's going to be like in January or February. So I could see why they stopped putting the Olympics on the same year, because I do remember when I was younger, the Olymp like the winter and the summer Olympics were hosted on the same year, and then and then they they did like a where they put it into the opposite even year. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so nine three. I'm pretty sure nine three eight is going to need to. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. But yeah, no, the Winter Olympics is like less than, less than a year from now. So I guess we're going to get a lot of Olympics. And I wonder if how much different it will be for the Winter Olympics. Like, will we still be in this kind of crazy COVID era? Because, I mean, it's been a while already. We've been, like, dealing with COVID for a while. I was, I think, when it first showed up, I was like, okay, we'll just be dealing with this for, like, a year or something. Fast forward to now, um, how it's been more than a year since we've been dealing with the pandemic. Um, and it's still flaring up. I think none of us thought it would last this long. Um, so, yeah. Okay, 3371 has two. So I'm just going to fill one up. I guess 30 bottles are too small for most things, I maybe should have used my Tic Tac containers, my big Tic Tac containers, because those ones can actually hold a good chunk of drills. Um, but I was thinking this this 60 bottle case is smaller than the Tic Tac, the big Tic Tac container case. So, yeah. But it, but I started already. They're on this, so this is what's getting used.
Okay. I don't know what I was talking about anymore. So. Oh, I was talking about how crazy that is, that it's still, like, it's like more than a year later and we're still dealing with COVID. Okay, there's two 3853s. have three bags extra and I only have two more bottles so okay who gets the extra two bottles um let's do this three three seven one just because it looks like it's the most and then we'll keep the least one Three eight five three. Okay, so so three three seven one. So alas, thirty bottles each was not enough for both of these diamond paintings, and now I have extra baggies lying around, which is not my favorite thing to have the extra baggies lying around. stickers on that one so what is this eight nine eight okay I just need one more bottle and this one would have been fine <laughs> Let's see. I guess I'll just put these in here. Um, will it close if I keep it in there? Yeah, it will close. Okay, it will close. So, yeah. All right, so... I'm done with this one. Maybe I should put... I don't know which one I'll do first, but I'll just put my extra bags in there. Put this... Oh. Maybe... Wait, this one is hollow. Maybe... I don't know which one I'll do first, but at some point I will do them. And... Will that fit? Will I be able to close my bo box? <laughs> all right, so there it is. It's finished. So um, that's all for today. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.